Hello again. Today I'm going to look at the ONO Disk Image Professional Edition. And we're going to be able to take a look at all the neat features that this software allows. This software is a quick and simple drive imaging software which allows you to back up your hard drive, files and other information to an OMG file which you can also use to uh, open up another hard drive, burn to a disk and other information. This right here is the drive imaging home panel which is accessed from the start page by clicking the quick access button. The drive imaging allows you to create a quick backup of an image. Here we're going to create an, a backup image of HP Tools G. We're going to go create it to a specific time. As you know, I've already created one, so I'm going to go ahead and let it keep creating it at a creating it with the same date and we'll just add that one to it and we're going to go ahead and start. It's that simple to create a copy of that hard drive. Go ahead and allow it to continue going. There we go. Now that that hard drive file is complete, I can also make an image of the changes. And We'll take an existing image, and it's going to go check if there are any changes between those two images. We'll give it a second, and if there are, it'll go create this second image. And of course, we know nothing has changed, so we ain't going to go through with that. But that'll allow you to create incremental changes and keep track. That'll also allow you for faster and simpler saving time simpler saving files. Now the neat feature about this is you can create a job. A particular job allows you to schedule a particular job allows you to schedule the amount of time that you want it to back up or when you want it to back up. And we can schedule this overnight. We can tell it to send me an evil an email notification in case there's any errors or if it's successful. And we can tell it about how to create the image file. We'll say place the image there and we'll say and you can even r shut down your computer after the job has completed. You can also tell it to run a command line after each job and close the command line before each job. Another, you know, th such as log out a user and etc. Next feature is, of course, drive restoration. Now that we have this file backed up, as you can see, I've clicked on here. We'll click on the new image fo folder, and we have our HP partition. So we're going to go ahead and restore this to the HP Tools drive. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And all you have to do is hit next and it will automatically begin porting those files over. And even in case your image file does not show up, you can of course select an image file. On top of that, you can create job restoration which allows you to restore particular files anytime that you may wish or desire. This is useful for system administrators that want to, say, have a demo computer that you allow to demo a product and you may want to flash it every now and then and have it restore back to the original data so that your demo computer is not bogged down by test, by lots of test data. And of course you can change the restoration options which also the restoration options allow you to restore parts of the hard drive without completely wiping it. So you keep changes, but you replace files that are on that hard drive, which is good for system administrators who say have a system hard drive that they protect and they give to their users. And if the system stops responding, they can simply replace the system hard drive and move on. You can also clone drives, which is very simple to do if you want to create a backup of your system drive. Simply actually put in another drive and back up the contents by cloning it. You can also do file backups and you can also do them on schedule by simply selecting the files or folders you want to back up and hitting start or create a job and you can create an OMG information, OMG file that you can use later to restore or you can use later to actually 
mount the OMG file to a physical drive on your computer. Other tools available which will allow you to burn an image file to a CD will allow you to validate an image file, make sure that it is been copied consistently if you're downloading off the internet and make sure it's a valid file. You can mount ISO images as if they are actually physical hard drives on your machine. You can also merge incremental images which is great for storage and you can convert image files from either an OMG or to a VHD file which will allow you to access virtual hard drives on physical computers. All you have to do is convert the virtual hard drive to an OMG and copy the information over. This is great if you have, say, a bunch of virtual hard drives or your virtual hard drive server and you want to keep information protected and keep information backed up. You can also have a quick shortcut here to check drive consistency, map network drive, and change computer properties. This very sophisticated platform allows you to quickly, as I said earlier, clone drives. And a quick way to clone all your drives is to just select this button right here. This button selects all your drives, and you can immediately copy them and back them up to an OMG folder file. Of course, I hope you have enough space for it, otherwise the operation will just fail. Also, a, night f a nice feature about Ono Disk Image is the Express, which allows you to create a quick mount image through a quick and user-friendly system. Simply select a drive you want to copy over, hit the Proceed button, and tell it where to store the file, and hit Start. It's that simple. You can also access more options, such as Add Comments to File, We'll, we'll go back to that screen. You can add comments to image, validate image file afterwards, shut down on completion and restart afterwards, and also notice on completion by a sound in case you're waiting to copy, say, a terabyte hard drive and it takes about four or five hours. You can also restore a file using this nice system by selecting the drive that it's compatible to and selecting the drive you wish to back it up to and hit next. You can also display detailed information on an image file, such as what kind of image it is and how much information is available on that file. Like for this, we've copied 103 megabytes for the HP tool partition. And of course, get help and switch back to full view. The Ono Disk Image also has a neat reporting and job control feature. This allows you to add jobs of any types. And you can edit job by selecting a job and open the job properties. But a neat thing is its report feature, which allows you to access decent information about each drive image file that you created. It tells you the processing file information, how much inf information about the volume was copied over, such a, and the information about the particular volume it was used. Like we copied my hard drive, and it was a, it originally had the G letter and it was FAT32 system. You can also get, of course, information about the size and bytes that are copied over, the start, particular start sector on the physical hard drive as opposed to the partition, and the device type, which of course we did file system. And of course you can get more information as you continue going on, including in, in exact information where the image file is located, and what product version the image file was created, which is good if you're having any issues.
I would recommend the O and O Disk Image Professional Edition for anyone, any system administrator who wants to back up files quickly or hard drives quickly, safely, and be able to restore those images on a fast basis. O and O Disk Image is an excellent tool, an excellent product, and I would continue to recommend it for anyone. For more information, please go to the description and click the link. That will give you more information about the ONO disk image and products, much like this one. Also, to access ONO disk image, simply find its icon in your quick launch tools and hit restore.